Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. Today I've got another really exciting new arrival and it's this item here. So this is the Photo Studio. I'm not quite sure what the Japanese here says but it says Photo Studio here so that's, that's what I'm going to presume the name is. This is another as far as I'm aware Japanese exclusive set that never got an, a release outside of Japan and the release date for this one is I believe around 2004 so it's quite an old set um, unfortunately the box is a little bit faded but ultimately it's, it's the contents inside that I'm most worried about so it's not the end of the world but even with the faded box you can see it's really cute packaging with this cute little brick work and these little leaves on the top of the box it looks exactly the same and then the sides have a bit better colour so this is what colour the packaging should be and there's a cute little image of inside the studio the back has a few images and obviously a lot of Japanese that I can't read but um, I can appreciate the photos they're very 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 cute especially like this one where the um, sandy cat sister is looking at this dress to try on and this is the side that shows you all of the contents so essentially you get the building itself um, and this is kind of the window display that slots in here you get this backdrop piece which I believe has different images on two sides a mirror, pot plant, a rail for some dresses a little railing that slots in behind the door there's this little hamper, some hangers to go on the railing a sign to go outside the shop really fancy kind of old-fashioned camera some flowers some more things to go in the window so there's these photos that go in the window display and then this sofa and these dresses would have come with the original i don't actually have those this is second hand um so i don't actually have these in i think i have the crown the brush and the teddy bear but the two dresses i think are not included in this one that I've picked up but I was just going to supplement them with other dresses maybe some of those um, dress up sets from the town series um, just to pop on the rail strangely enough I also got this one off of eBay but from a UK seller but not the same UK seller that I got the florist from so it just so happened that two different UK sellers had the two different Japanese exclusive sets that I've been looking for for forever in really um, in really quick succession to one another so that was really interesting I think it, this one was probably carried by Sylvanian storekeepers um, they used to sell a lot of the Japanese exclusive um, sets so I'm thinking it was probably available through them w when it came out I'm not sure about the florist set though And the bottom of the box is another version of that photo. So yes, let's have a look at the building and the contents. So here is the building out of the box. And as you can see, this isn't uh, faded or sun damaged at all. So that's great news. Um, I've slotted that window piece in, but essentially you can remove this. Oh, that's a horrid noise. But essentially you can remove this piece in and out and put some things in the window display which we'll do in a minute nice doorway over here and then a little bit of cobbled street out the front here on the side there's a little notice board that shows different uh, seasons and the kind of photos that could be taken on the other side there's just a window and it's got this lovely brickwork running all the way around the building got a window here it doesn't open or anything it's just for um, it's just for decoration purposes only and then inside I've popped that little railing in so this pops that can pop in and out and it's just a standard railing this pops in there and then on this wall obviously the previous owner has stuck these pictures on the wall but I think they look really nice so I'm quite happy to leave those there and then this piece this piece pops in and out so this is essentially that window display and then you can get into the window and put some things on the shelf but on the window display are some examples of the photography that can take place in the studio so we've got some wedding photography 
and some family portraits which I think is very sweet and then that just literally slots back in like that and clicks into place so there's that slots back in and then there's two little ridges up here and this is where that background piece slides in and this is becomes the background where the photography can take place and then over this side you could have like a little waiting and dressing area so let's have a look at the accessories it comes with so first of all is that background piece so this is just a thin piece of card but it's nice quality and it's quite glossy but on the one side you've got this kind of it looks quite weddingy or maybe fancy for like prom or something like that this lovely stained glass window and staircase with florals and then on the other side you've got this more um, fantasy-esque balcony with these beautiful curtains and this lovely view and what happens is this just slots in here and those little notches hold it upright and then that can be your background for taking pictures against there's also this cute little sign that goes outside and just tells you all the kind of services offered in the photo studio and this sign is uh, pretty similar to other signs of this type that came with maybe like the florist shop and the beauty salon but I do like that it's not all one colour on the back it's it so it looks like a card has been placed on the is it called an well the stand but I don't know if it's got an actual technical term e easel maybe or is that only for art I'm not sure but yes, you've got the shop sign, you've got this lovely pink and brown uh, sofa. This one is a little bit dusty, so I need to get, get at that and kind of clean the dust off a little bit. But it's in fairly good con condition, considering that it, it is flocked. And then it's got a little bit of detail on the underneath, and then the back is just plain. But maybe that could, you could either have that as like your waiting area, or maybe you'd want to bring it into the foreground and have it like that looks quite nice with the curtains and you could have it as the backdrop for the pictures. I think I'm going to put it as a waiting area for now though. Then you've got the camera itself which comes in two parts. So there's the stand and there's the camera itself so it just pops on there like that. It's a little bit loose, I'm guessing from age and play, so I might pop a little bit of um, white tack or something in there just to hold it together so it's a little bit less likely to come apart. But the camera itself is lovely, it's this dark brown colour and then it's got gold detailing and obviously the black for the, um, I, I don't know what it's called, but this part and the, the part that actually takes the photo. Ooh see what I mean about it being quite loose and then you've got the back here which is where the photographer would look through and that would go here so you're taking taking the lovely photos then there's this kind of photo album example so it's got this lovely detailing on it and then you can stand it up at the back so I'm going to pop that in the window as another example of the kind of work that is done in this studio then you get a nice just pot plant either to put in the display, like in the photos to add a bit of foliage to the display or maybe you'd want to pop it in the waiting area to kind of decorate how the room looks so you could also I guess put it over there wherever you choose to have it, very nice it's always nice to get plants, you don't seem to get plants too often and this one comes with two so that's exciting you also get this little plant pot and this looks quite a bit like one of the ones from the florist shop. Comes in a little wicker basket and then lovely pink flowers. So again, this is probably better as a prop for the photo area. Then you also get some dressing items. So you get a rail with um, some hangers on which you can hang dresses on. Obviously it should have come with two dresses. I don't have those but they're easily substituted for other outfits. And then you also get this lovely mirror. So this one doesn't move like some of the others would. Um, it's a solid piece, but it's kind of at the right angle anyway, so that's fine. And then you get this little hamper to 
pop your accessories in so it's just like a little wicker hamper with a catch on the front that opens up and you can pop some bits inside and the kind of little accessories you get are a hairbrush and that's got a little I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's got a little flower on the background um, it's got a little flower on the back and then the bristles are a different colour to the rest of the brush which I think is a nice detail you also get this little teddy bear maybe if you were taking photos of the children or babies this would be a cute addition it's got a little tail on the back um, looks like a cat to me rather than a teddy bear and then you also get this little like princess crown which again could be nice to go with either bridal or uh, fancy dress photos and it's quite big but I think it would probably only fit the child size critters I don't think it would be big enough to fit an adult I will just pop those in the hamper and yes that's everything the set comes with so I think what I'm going to do now is make a little scene of some people having some photos taken and then I'll be back with you to show you. So here's the little scene I've created. It's not super elaborate, but I just wanted to kind of uh, demonstrate how you could use the space. So obviously in my village, we all know that Cecil Maces is the photographer extraordinaire. He works for the paper. He takes all the photos of events. He's always out with his camera. So it made sense that he would have his own photo studio and actually that was one of the reasons I wanted to get this photo studio that, so that he would have a base of operations. I think he has earned himself um, a photo studio. So he's the photographer who works here. And then this is the Dante cat wedding couple. And I thought that they might like some more photos in their wedding wear. So we've got the bride here posing for Cecil and she's having some lovely photos taken against this fancy regal background and she's got, um, she's hidden behind the camera but she's got her bouquet on the sofa there and then she is obviously showing off her lovely uh, bridal gown and then the groom is here in his lovely powder blue suit and he's just making some final adjustments before he gets his solo shots and then they'll get some cute couple shots together and then Mr Maces will uh, kind of put them all together in an album for them so they can share them with all their friends when they come around for tea and whatnot. I also stole some dresses from the town series just to bulk out this um, railing a little bit I think that looks absolutely fine I don't think you need the, the particular dresses that came with this set I think any kind of fancy dresses or fancy clothes um, would suffice so yeah definitely going to get a couple more town series dresses specifically to kind of have in this set but yes overall I'm so so happy I've wanted this set for a really long time I just think it's such a cute um, little addition to the village to have this kind of photo studio it's not something you really see so much these days now that you can obviously take photos on your phone or on video and whatnot but my village is a little bit more old-fashioned so if you want to kind of commemorate special occasions and things then uh, Cecil's kind of the go-to guy to sort that out for you. As for where the photo studio is going to fit in on the shelves, um, I'll take you over there and we can have a quick look at that now. So this is the shelf with the Applewood department store. It's the one above the Courtyard Restaurant and Watermill Bakery. Um, there's a space just here that I have cleared for the photo studio to go and I'll pop that in there now so you can just see what that looks like. So here's how that fits into the scene. I think it looks um, nice. I think the colours go quite well with the rest of the colours on this shelf. So I think it fits in there quite nicely. Obviously this shelf isn't done yet. It is kind of just a holding ground at the moment for a few different families and then there's obviously bags of stuff everywhere but I think this is one of the ones that I will work on next being that I've already kind of set up the studio and put that in place so it makes sense to kind of get the rest of this done so um, I'm sure that will be a video coming up very shortly I hope you've enjoyed unboxing the photo studio with me and taking a closer look at that 
and I hope you'll join me in congratulating Cecil Maces on finally getting his photo studio up and running. That's all for this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time, bye bye for now!